Hello, welcome back to Head to Season. This is Season 8 of my campaign. Of Season 8. Episode 8 of my campaign, I should say. Do not adjust your TV sets. This is um, Arsenal against Liverpool. And highlights of the first match shown. They're in. I'm showing this at high speed mainly because the game was buggy as heck. And because... Um, all the problems I was technically having. Liverpool won, Arsenal won first match, and the point to kick me off at the start of the campaign. Rolling into the next match here on my Head to Head Season Tour, Tottenham Hotspur were going to be the next opponents from my Arsenal team. Let's see if I can get the loss of three points. They, they get me a good start to this campaign. Nice and jammy, nice and lucky, but Jermaine Defoe scoring in the 70th minute. And that 70th minute goal giving Spurs the one goal lead. And again, put me on the course. It took 70 minutes, and uh, people in this division have been really, really defensive. And it's been hard to break them down. Shown by that first match, the first match um, um, ended 1 1, so it's not exactly giving me, pro giving me an easy chance. Back from Bale. Bale still got it. Twists and turns and puts in the net. Doubling Spurs' lead. Um, Gareth Bale taking my Arsenal regard and so suffocating them. Well, 2 0. So it's a draw and a loss. So when I went to this next game with Napoli. I knew the writing would be on the wall unless I can get three points very quickly. Had to have a good start to the match and certainly had to get our first first goal. It's all about getting that first goal, the first bite of the cherry. Podolski. Podolski still got it. Oh, this does not seem to be coming anywhere near me. So I just kept going with Podolski and see what happens. Arteta. Oh, may as well just um, actually... Pathetic and keep passing backwards. Sandra Cazola! I took my time, got the goal. Played a patient football game and got the just rewards. Give him away. On the back, he's got space, tries to tee him up. That's half blocked. The defend is good enough. He's got the tackle in and. Ref? What? What? What's that all about? What? What's, where was the foul? I get some sort of foul against me just as it's done as the keeper makes the save. And that's the most important point in that match. The penalty was given. Um, they didn't convert. And I got the points. So that gets me four points. That's the four points I was looking for. So it gives me a platform to work on to start my push to get promotion in this one. The leagues are going to get generally harder. Um, I'm going to generally keep using Arsenal. <laughs> but anyway, Banvika. Different possibility. Um, possi <laughs> a different proposition, certainly. And Lima showing it, and um, Benfica and a few other teams were scoring goals against me. Given the way Jorginho is not very smart, as Jorginho takes the run around for Santa Gazzola to guide the ball into the corner net. Certainly, my attacking is good, my defending is rather suspect. As long as I was able to attack with some fashion, and then I could get goals. Of the pressure. Scores tied. It's very sort of um, edgy. Keeper with a paring save gives it away. And Malagrio 
rips me apart in the 86th minute, tears my heart, Benfica 2, Arsenal 1. This league is going to be a real bitch. Seriously. Things not going my way. I certainly was looking for three points here. I couldn't afford to lose any more games. Games lost aren't going to be good here at all. Back to Arteta. Gervinho skins his man. Saved by the keeper. Gervinho. And he of the massive forehead comes again and raises the challenge. Keeper makes a double save but not good enough. That header. In the back from Gervinho, Gervinho has skinned him alive. Gervinho still, yes! They just can't stop the big man. Gervinho with the dazzling footwork rips him apart. He turned them one way, he turned them back, and he finds the corner. His second goal, and Tottenham now, Arsenal 2. How do you do? Arteta. Well cut. And the tackles came in. Gervinho still got it. Gervinho! That's his hat trick. He could take the ball home. Gervinho with three goals of the highest calibre. This Tottenham team was certainly um, shooting themselves in the foot. They did get a goal in the end. Clint Dempsey. With that spinning shot. But I was on seven points. And I was um, looking rather tastily at the possibilities that I could still get promotion again from this league. Um, looking for that higher division. Tottenham Arsenal is game on. From White Hart Lane, I play Spurs one more time. I know these games are kind of the same, and I keep playing the same opponents, but that's kind of the way it is. When you're playing head-to-head -head season, people do choose teams and kind of stick by them, because they know how these teams work. I don't know, keep my keeper, it's pish. Fabianski is really crap in goals, doesn't catch the ball, usually plays really rubbish. Look at the two guys running in a lane. And um, Parker shows that ringing the line works. Well, that guy's run offside, comes back onside. Um, talking on ripping the pitch here as he walks from my defence. Aaron Lennon. That's free. Knocks over the back. Giroud. Giroud still got it on this wing side. Giroud. It, oh, he's tripped Giroud over. That's going to be a penalty kick, I'm afraid. No, get back your goals. That's a penalty. Least fuck off. Now I'm the referee. You do as I say. Arteta. Where will they place it? He slips and they puts it wide. Yeah, that's um, vintage penalties there for me. That's completely crap. Uh, Kieran Gibbs on this swing. Yep. Gibbs, can I actually get a goal from this? Yes, I actually can. What? It's apparently another penalty. Kieran Gibbs got tackled on the way of the cross. I was actually have taken the goal. I did score it, you know. Now I've got to score this penalty again. Um... Arteta, take two. Yeah, I'm um, just easier hitting it in the middle because otherwise I'll miss the penalty. So I do get the goal in the end. We're talking on three, Arsenal one. Um, he wasn't too happy. So he kind of like um, took the ball, ran at the park, and scored. That's how easy to beat me, apparently. Yeah. A bit of um, school skilling for me there. Uh, as that guy was well at my league.
back to normal showing. I changed my team up after that embarrassment. I felt I needed to do something different. Um, I called upon my roots. I've not been Scotland for some time, but um, surely. Lo oh God. You're trying to say to me this is still happening to me. Am I stuck in this rut where I keep losing games? I sure can't lose another game. Leon with the lead. Things soon got worse with the second goal from Lopez. And I certainly was just throwing away games at well here. I know it happened at some point ahead to the season, but I didn't expect right now. I was now getting my ass handed to me. Fletcher. Naismith. Forrest. Back over the back is Naismith. I've got some space here. Ooh, possibility. Looks over the back. The header. That's a simple header. Steven Fletcher. Perhaps I could win this one after all. The fight back is on. Yes, believe, believe, I believe. Do you believe? Do you believe that I can do it? Please say yes. No, I lost. Limper Leon, kind of 2 1, and with three games left, um, there's more chance of me getting relegated than us getting promoted here at this rate. Yep, I changed up once more and went um, Man United. And Percy. Rooney. Mm, tackle. And the guy's not even playing. Um, so I get the ball. And knock in the net. I was playing against uh, like a two year old kid. Who just kind of happened to just go like AFK. While I was playing him. Um, um, so I took advantage of his um, kind hearted nature. And scored a goal. Soon after the guy came back, realised he was a goal down, and um, I proceeded to hand him his derriere. How'd you like their apples? I need the win, so there was no sympathy. It's all, it's all fair and love and war, and um, head to his season. If you're going to be AFK during a match, then you're going to expect to get your ass kicked. This guy's standard was not anywhere near mine. You can see the speed of the passing here, and um, he's completely out of his league. Van Persie. And now it's free. Certainly, this win would add to my other wins um, and put me on to 10 points. But 10 points would be good. That would save me in the league at least um, and not get me relegated. But certainly, um, it was just a matter of how many goals I scored against this kid. Because certainly he was not able to cope with anything I was throwing at him. Valencia and Percy. Tried to be dragged back. The guys went AFK again, as you can see here. And I was just mucking about. Van Percy slams it in the head. The guy keeps going like AFK during the match. I um, don't know if he's demoralised or what, but um, I have a season key on scoring goals just for the fun of it. I may as well, because I, I need the match practice, and frankly I've been not playing that well recently, so... If somebody decides to like lie down, I may as well just keep scoring goals against him. Fun for me, not for you. Oh, la, 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 la. Uh, it's Bayern Munich nil, Man United 5. Give me that ball. As you see, the AI is just easy to stand there. Um, I do a couple of step overs. And knock in the main mechanic. And um, yeah, it's now um, 6. Um, I've never came across this ever in Hente season. Somebody who's not actually even playing. Um, I can even score and do step overs with Michael Carrick and um, the guy just stands there. You can see that's him playing there. He's playing there, but the times when he goes AFK, it's kind of like really um, weird. This guy just stops playing. 
Uh, he does get a goal, man. Zukic does get a goal against me. Like so. Kind of feeling sorry for him, but um, Bayern Munich won Man United 7. It's a bit of an ass whipping. A uh, serious ass whipping, really. Um, to come against someone ahead of the season and just get his ass kicked over the park. But it certainly made me choose my new team. My new team of choice will be Man United. And I will proceed to kick everyone's candy ass.